check your cargo. My cargo? Nothing wrong with my cargo. What's this all about? Check your cargo. You think you're trying to hijack this load? You're crazy. Just check your cargo. You stay right there. Soon, my prince. Soon. Seth. Today will be better. New schools are hard. All schools are hard. I have a feeling that very soon you're going to find someone who really gets you. I just know it. Okay, Mom. I have to work late. The museum got a new installation. You'll see it this afternoon. What is it? I'm going to let that be a surprise. A mm -hmm. surprise? For my birthday? Well, it's not your birthday until tomorrow, Seth. At 9.12 p.m. to be exact, that's when you were born. 9.12, 9.13. Two in the morning, what's the difference? It makes a great deal of difference. <sighs> Sometimes you're so weird. Okay, settle down. Uh, I have some exciting news. I guess the Archaeology Association has been getting my emails because, and you are not gonna believe this, you still my beating heart, the mummy exhibit is here. Uh, well, it's at the Pineville Museum, and we are getting a special sneak preview before it's open to the public. Lucky us. Well, this is what I was thinking. Uh, we weren't even on the original itinerary, but I guess after they saw my credentials as the acting president of the Egyptology Fan Club and Museum Volunteer of the Month, they've decided to include us. No need to thank me. Oh, don't worry. We won't. <laughs> what was that? Sorry? Beg your pardon? Nothing else? This exhibit documents the life of the young pharaoh. He was just a boy killed by assassins on his 12th birthday. I need a twin brother who escaped but was never found. Well, you certainly know your ancient Egypt. Uh, the boy pharaoh was the same age as all of you imagined, ruling an empire and having all these adults trying to kill you. Welcome, everyone. Oh, the exhibit looks fabulous. Thanks for having us early. My pleasure. If you go upstairs to the exhibition hall, you will be able to see a replica of the pharaoh's tomb. Oh, wow, thank you. you bet. Have a good tour, kids. Great. The mummy's loyal followers sacrificed their lives so they could follow him into the afterlife. What a bunch of losers. The followers wanted to party with him in the afterlife. It was a good thing. Wait, what's that, a giant nose picker? Kind of. <laughs> After you die, they yank your brain out through your nostrils. Oh. Oh. Is that a dog? Jackal. Chris wore jackal heads when preparing the dead bodies. How do you know all of this? He probably reads a lot. Yeah, because he has no friends. appreciate the beauty of these items. Not many your age do. They are obsessed only with the Pharaoh's flesh. 
the mummy. I am Mr. Nibibi. Hi, Seth. It is such a pleasure to meet you, Seth. May I show you something? Sure. This way. What happened to Seth? Who cares? Seth, do you know why this amulet was very precious to the Pharaoh? He believed uh, it would help his friends find him after death. So he wouldn't be lonely. You know about this. Egypt's kind of a hobby of mine. He looks sad. He was found alone, separated from his loved ones. Sev, I'm wondering. I am in need of a student worker here. Do you think you could be of assistance to me? It would be very important work we would be doing. Work that will change history. Really? What is it, young lady? The mummy! It's here just moved! In these surroundings, it is easy to imagine the magical or the macabre. Go now and rejoin your classmates. We will see much of each other later. Patience, my Pharaoh. Patience. I don't think you should help out the guy at the museum. You mean the curator? Yeah, something weird's going on. I mean, the guy gives me the creeps the way he looks at you. Hmm. Seth? You okay? You look like you're a million miles away. Well, I was just thinking about the ancient Egyptians. They believed the world was created by Ra, who had twins. Divided, one makes the heaven and one the earth. They can look at each other all they want, but they can never hang out, or, or the world would end. Hey, Phoebe, do you ever feel... I don't know. What? Tell me. I don't know. Lonely, I guess. You don't have to be. Lonely, I mean. It's all right. I'm used to it.
You look tired. You sleep okay? I had a really weird dream about the exhibit. Hmm. The images of that ancient world are powerful, aren't they? I'll say. You don't remember? The curator gave it to you. You admired the one at the museum, and he gave you this replica as a gift. What? No, he didn't. Seth, really? You don't remember? Honest, I don't. Oh, well. Nothing to worry about. I forget things all the time. So, after the brain was removed, the embalmers would make an incision on the, uh, the, the left side of the cadaver, uh, made from a knife shaped of razor-sharp obsidian stone. The handle, or hilt, would be bejeweled with local gems. Uh, from that cut, the priest would remove the organs and place them into um, canopic jars. There's my falcon. Like Tupperware. Uh, yep. We need all the elements Close. necessary for happiness in the afterlife. Uh, can anyone tell me uh, what work contains the ritual spell? You that's will live forever, the a beloved ruler, and you will never, ever be alone. Seth. 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 Uh, uh, so you you can't tell me what work contains the ritual spells to send the deceased into the afterlife? <laughs> Ow. Okay, I went now. Can I go to the restroom? Yep, yep, by all means. Please, please do. Seth, why don't you come back to class? Baby, I feel what the mummy feels. What do you mean? Look. At what? What am I supposed to be looking at? This is so weird. There was a... Never mind. I'll say something weird. After you left, Mr. Schmidt handed up these exhibit cards. The high priest. Who does he look like? From the museum. Call me crazy, but I think this guy in the picture is Mr. Nabibi. But that's impossible. The high priest lived over 3,000 years ago. Wait here. Mom. Mom? Mom? Oh, there you are. It is time. hour is upon us. We must hurry before it's too late. Alba Yamal Alwa Yagraba Bazar.
Yak atayat arkan. Wellians anasara sabat. She is not your mother, Seti. She never was. Please, let me out of here. Seti, my name is Seth. Your name is Seti. With me as your guardian, you were sent into the future to be reborn as a modern boy because you could not be protected against the assassins. Let go of your fear and think. Have you never felt that your life was incomplete? That you yearned to be reunited with someone? Yes. That someone awaits. Across time. <gasps> Seth! No! Phoebe, you ruin everything! What are they doing to you? It has been done. Let the transition to the afterlife begin. No! Yes! Don't interfere, Phoebe. To spend eternity with my brother is my true destiny. this very hour, the twin pharaohs were born, two bodies sharing one soul. Seth! Let them reunite! Mm-hmm. 